Okay. Oh, okay. Is Rick Hoy covered up from your name? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Well, um, um, I'm sure viewers were all ready to find out what exactly is Rick Hoy Health Foundation about? What, what, you, what, what you do? Yes. What's it? Rick Hoy Health Foundation is um, it's a health foundation that is basically to um, support um, individuals and society, especially our main theme for our five years. That's our plan was to support children with a condition called Epps palsy. It's a very delicate condition okay. where after birth they're unable to raise their hands up. It's an accidental injury. Okay. So as physiotherapists we help to strengthen the hands of the children mm. and they're able to regain the function of their okay. hands. So that was actually the inspiration for bringing up the foundation. Mm. It was very critical because that's where the child grows up. It, we can um, accept children with deformities, so the best thing is to treat them very early. So I had an inspiration about two years ago to support, but in between time, we had other things such as giving support to needy, doing donations, and um, actually carrying out health screenings in various institutions. We've had um, churches, we've had um, various hospitals, um, children's hospital to support them. And actually, we finished carrying out a, a, a research to support the children, actually to give them the best of treatment. And we will be out very soon so that we can be able to further um, treat the children very, very well. Okay, so <coughs> so with the main intention of, main aim of um, the the health um, that you've mentioned about the children, um, you're going into other areas to help the needy and stuff like that. Yes. Are you not drifting away from the main focus? No, um, we have a main focus, but other other supporting structures. So, okay. in order to even get support for the children, we have to probably carry out health screenings mm. to get that support because mm. the the condition takes about six months, getting to a year, to observe actually movement in of the hand, and some of the, the parents live at far places. Some of them financial costs. Physiotherapy is actually expensive. Mm. Just one session is about more than twenty days. Oh. So if you are doing it for like continuous for like six months. So at, at what age are we talking about with these kids? Newborns, like wow, born. and they can go through physio. Yes. Wow, I see. Depending on the injury, actually, mm. if it's not so severe, most most of them are not so severe, so they're able to get a treatment very wow. early. Most of the cases are not. Severe. So with how tender they are, they can go through physio. Yes. Wow. After two. Because the bones are not too solid and everything. Yeah. After two weeks, we are some of them recover after two weeks. Okay. They function. After okay. two weeks, if you don't see any recovery, they come for therapy. And they are treated, and mm. within six months, about seventy percent of them gain ninety percent of their function. Wow, that's interesting. We don't hear about these things. Yes, you don't make noise, do you? We we are not coming up. Actually, really? it's been terrible. how long has the foundation been? Two years. Two years. Yes. Okay, but you're doing well. So so far, would you let us in on some of the um, projects and um, exercises you, you've done? I mean, successful and all. Any achievements so yes, far? Yes, um, we've had health screening at every every collaborated with the PML to organize health screening during this December the 2020 20th okay. we had a health screening at um, Kaneshi PSB to screen them I think we had four services it was one of the tiring health screen that we had mm. we had to screen all the church members and then we had donations to various okay. Yes. okay so now what are you is there any plan ahead are you are you do you have any projects slated in, in that few months to come Yes, we have. Actually, one is um, to be a lead advocate, so advocate in health, sure. like child health, and then also to carry out further the research on the children, those who have received therapy and those who haven't received therapy, so we can compare how effective your therapy is to them and then how early they can recover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then other, 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 other very important. Interesting. So have you, have you had any, um, with all the things you've done, have there been any things that you'd find challenging and difficult? Because you set up a foundation, you have dreams, you have aspirations, but in the line of duty, in the line of what you do, there are a few challenges here and there in, in that aspect. Have you have you had any challenges like that? Yeah, quite a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in terms of actually even coming up, we are good, but we've not had really human resource, so we are still trying to collaborate with expertise. Okay. Actually, I'm a physiologist, but we also need other expertise to come up the mm -hmm. board and then to get institutions to support our mandate. Because yeah. 
for that to mandate, they have to be a lead advocate in childhood and adulthood. But first of all, childhood, because child goes before an, to an mm. adult. Mm. So they are the very key stakeholders, okay. actually, the childhood. So, so Rich, if you take this child, let's take a case study where you take a child through the physio, the child gets okay. Would, can we say that in some time to come, in the life of that child, that could happen again? It could, it could recur? Yes. Um, the percentage is like 5%. Some of them, the injury can occur when you are old. Okay. You have a, a, their nerves around your neck. So when there's a heavy blow to your neck, they can tear. But it's very rare. It's okay. very rare. But the children's condition, is, that one is actually mm. getting mm. Um, increasing prevalent. So do you have a Ghana Health Service or Ministry of Health? I mean, are yes. they helping? Yes. Actually, the last year, we had a, the research we are conducting is collaboration with the Ministry of Health. Okay. The Ministry of Health has a, an appended signature to it. Oh, okay. So I think next month or so the health director the health advocate director is actually proofreading the the research mm. it'll be out probably by next month yes it's a good thing you're doing so after you do your after you do your physios and and they're gone do you have some kind of like a data or something you follow them and find out if they're doing well and all that do you follow up yes we do actually have their contact so okay actually it's, it's something that we want to see maybe after two years after three years how do be and then how function that be so we are monitoring them we have mm. their contact mm. yeah. every session uh, rich we'll be, we'll be wrapping up in a few in a few minutes but um two more questions now how do you get to know that this child has this how, how do you do your contacts how do you get to know that there's a problem here it's, it's do you work at the hospitals or something no they are delivered at hospital mm -hmm. mostly we don't get to see them more because yeah. most people are the polyclinics so some of them get off, and that's what we are trying to monitor and get more from other than hospitals. But it's very evident when a child is born, you take with the child's hand. Some of them move, but they're able to move as compared to the mm -hmm. other. So it's very visible. Okay. Like, so do you have some of your executives at most hospitals? Because what I'm trying to say is that how do you identify that? Okay, at, let's say some polyclinic does a case like that. How do you get to know? Actually. We are now expanding, so okay. we are hoping to get more. That's the human resource is very limited now, mm. so we are trying mm. to pick up. Okay. But parents are very supportive of such kids. They are supportive. Um, they allow you to go ahead and do physios and all that? Yes, for that okay. one, yes. We, we actually are supposed to educate them for sure. them to understand before. Aside okay. that, yes. Okay. Anyway, I um, wish you all the best. Give us your final remarks. Um, people are watching some in such situations. They will definitely um, are interested in your final remarks. Yes, that um, our foundation is actually health advocacy, especially child health. We will move in adult health, but child health is our main. And then if we have any support, you can render unto us. Uh, we're very, very grateful. Mm. Either media, either financial, either, yes. Okay. We, 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 we actually you have any social media handle? Yes, yes. Uh, we, call, yes we, we call Health National Foundation on Twitter, it's on Facebook. Actually, we have presentations on Facebook subsequent presentation okay. and the next one will be on hydrocephalus okay. that's the big head yeah um, yeah I, I, I like your i like your, your vision it's so good it's so good we pray you get support for what you're doing it's a good thing you're doing it's a good thing you're doing so keep it up okay Thank you. All right, okay, so we've been talking to um, Richard Cortex, um, who's a CEO for Recoy Health International Foundation, doing a good job out there for the young, for the kids out there, and uh, we need to support people like this, foundations like this, because it's for the society, it's not for him per se, he's doing it for society. Rich, once again, all the best. Thank you very much. All right, so um, there's still a lot more to come. Coming up next is the health segment, where they're having a part two of sexual dysfunction. You don't want to miss it.